guys. Jim Lowell is the chief investment officer at Advisor Investments with $5 billion of assets under management at last count. He joins us live from Newton, Massachusetts. Jim, good to see you there. We just finished on FANGs. So let's start with the FANGs once again getting defanged here. It's kind of interesting the way that these big cap high-flying tech names had really helped drag the market up during the rally and now they're helping to drag the market down in the sell-off. Are we seeing just a garden variety kind of profit taking here or is this sort of a more medium to longer term reweighting of the sector which will have a broader market impact? Well, I think there's no question that the tech sector long term is going to be a key component to any growth investor's portfolio. That said, uh, that sector, and in particular the FANG stocks, were priced not just to perfection, but as the market's clearly telling us, priced beyond perfection. So they're coming down. I'd say the momentum that was positive that drove them to uh, maybe a, a level of irrational exuberance among their owners is now reversed course, as you said. And we think it's uh, not just negative momentum uh, over the past few weeks, but likely to uh, continue not just in the tech sector either as investors really uh, look at the uh, prospects for potentially slower global growth in 2019 and reallocate towards a more moderately balanced portfolio in terms of both equities, bonds, and even cash. Ooh, where's leadership going to come from if not from the fangs and other techs? Well, uh, we don't need for, for the well-diversified marketplace for just the FANG stocks to uh, go in one direction or another to, uh, for the markets to follow suit. We think the fundamentals continue to point to slow growth, not no growth, here in the U.S. in particular. And we know that earnings growth is likely to slow in 2019, but that does not mean there will be no earnings growth. And we also think inflation remains very low. Those are key catalysts for the broad market to be able to sustain itself during what could be uh, an even slipperier slope to the downside, but also to have periods where when uh, fear dissipates, uh, investors are likely to step in and, and help to rebound. One of the previous um, catalysts for the sell-off, um, in the previous session rather, was um, the housing sentiment number that came out, um, which was quite negative. We saw a home builder sentiment plunge in the month of November. And it was kind of interesting that the housing stocks actually held up pretty well in the face of that. Does that suggest that considering a lot of these housing stocks have already had their washout, some of them are down by like, you know, over, over a third over the past year, that, uh, that maybe the fact that they're able to react positively to bad news shows that they're starting to find a flaw? I think you hit the nail on the head. Uh, the uh, housing sector, of course, has been uh, driven into a correction mode, not because of unhealthy consumers, not because of unstable financial systems. Uh, both are, in fact, in very good shape but because of the persistent lack of inventory, which continued to lead to higher prices. And then, of course, mortgage rates began ticking up. So really, this is a growth correction. I think what the housing market absolutely could witness in 2019 is a second wave of buyers if uh, mortgage rates stabilize, if the Fed gets a little bit more accommodative rather than hawkish, and if, and it's a big if, if housing prices begin to come down. Well, it doesn't just even need to get more accommodative. Maybe it just needs to take a pause to give some comfort to the market that they're taking stock of the situation <laughs> out there. We always say, look, the Fed shouldn't be driven by market volatility or market moves, but nonetheless, what happens in the markets and the, the wealth destruction or creation that it has um, on the broader economy, you know, you can't help but say that the Fed's got to take note of some of these moves. So maybe they'll take a pause. I mean, I think, I think the odds are coming down, aren't they, for December? They absolutely are, and, and we think that uh, a Fed pause, if the facts on the ground merit it, would certainly be welcomed by the market. But, of course, the flip side of that is that if the Fed does pause, the market get, may get a little bit nervous about what the Fed is seeing in terms of perhaps slower growth. That said, everything we know about this Fed and prior Feds, uh, their job, as you point out, is to safeguard the economy, not the markets. But they understand that the markets look to the economy for direction. So in that sense, they are shepherds of the market. So when you say if they did take a pause and the market will wonder, uh-oh, what's the Fed saying? They're, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't, right? It's very difficult to, uh, to move either way or not Absolutely move, as the case right. may be. Jim, <laughs> what are you doing with energy stocks? We've seen oil prices 
fall now for the 12th consecutive session. Um, a, a dramatic fall from grace over the past month, um, you know, oil market in bear market territory. What do the energy names look like? Is it, is it sort of a situation where you might start to, to nibble or are we just not there yet? It's definitely a situation where some of the managers we have highest confidence in might start to nibble. But uh, that said, it is a, a clear issue of oversupply with plenty of potential here in the U.S. to create even more supply over and against what may be a slowing global economy with particular regard to China and its uh, demand for, uh, for importing crude. So uh, I, would be, I would be very uh, trepidatious in terms of trying to build a market weight position in the energy sector. I think you still run the risk of catching more falling, kni falling knives than good discounted values. Lots of falling knives out there. Let's not get sliced. Jim Lowe from Advisor Investments, thank you very much for joining us. Coming up.